The waters are receding slowly. The town of Huntsville is reporting continued drop in water levels at the Big East River, and road closures due to flooding have been removed for most areas as water starts to drop closer to downtown. Bracebridge, meanwhile, is still experiencing a rise in waters locally as the flood water from Huntsville continues to move down the Muskoka River to Bracebridge. The big question is, will the rain coming into the region stall or even make the flood situation worse than it is right now? We are talking about rain on Saturday, uh, beginning probably in the morning hours. Uh, a low pressure system responsible for that tracking from south to north. And yeah, we are talking significant rainfalls on Saturday. So 20 to 30 millimeters probable and some areas possibly up to 35 or 40. So a rainy day on Saturday. And uh, yeah, that that could con that will contribute to uh, water levels for sure. We're not the experts in terms of flooding because that's a provincial mandate. Uh, but certainly, I would want to direct people to pay attention to the messages that come from the uh, Ministry of Natural Resources and Forestry. And while we wait for these waters to recede and the currents to ease up, there's some very important messaging the OPP wants you to hear about water safety right now. And the warmer weather can give uh, a false sense of security, if you will, um, to boaters uh, or beachcombers uh, alike. So the warm air that you feel, it doesn't necessarily translate into warm water. So if you inadvertently fall into the water, the consequences can be fatal. Um, like, for example, last weekend, we had some, you know, record setting warm temperatures, didn't change anything with the water, uh, you know, making it any safer yet. So if you fall into the cold water, um, when you're exposed to that water, your body kind of reacts uh, and can put you into sort of a cold shock. Uh, and what that means, um, your breathing and your heart rate uh, can be dramatically altered, like just like that. Uh, which creates a greater risk for drowning. And that means even if you're a, a strong swimmer to begin with, um, that sudden cold shock uh, can greatly increase your risk for drowning. Um, one of the best things that you can do um, is wear a life jacket. And I mean, there's no time of the year where I'll tell you where you shouldn't wear a life jacket, but in particular, um, around cold water, uh, if you fall uh, into the cold water inadvertently and you are wearing a life jacket, it just might buy you, you know, enough time to get out of danger and wait for help to arrive. Um, and in particular, this kind of goes along with the flooding as well. So areas with moving water, where it's moving already um, around this time of the year, and especially now, uh, you're gonna have higher uh, levels of water um, and the water is gonna be moving faster uh, which only multiplies uh, the dangers if you inadvertently fall in. So my, my best advice is steer clear for now, wait for the warmer temperatures to come. If you do have to be around water right now, please wear a life jacket. As I, as I mentioned, it can buy you, um, you know, those vital seconds, uh, you know, that could, that could save your life.